So the change we're going to make is instead of allocating this array on the stack, we are going to allocate it on the heap because it turns out that memory allocated on the heap is not cleared away when this function returns. And so the base address of that new string, which is allocated on the heap, can be returned by this function. So the change we have to make is instead of this syntax, we use this function called malloc, which stands for memory allocate, and we tell it how much memory we want. Now this code, if we actually try and run it, will actually produce a warning. The warning is that at this point, we are implicitly declaring this function malloc. It's not a built-in function in C. You have to hash include another header file. This one is called stdlib, which is standard library. So in the standard library, you have a helper function called malloc, which you should import. This malloc function is technically a request to the operating system. You are requesting the operating system for this amount of memory, specifically this amount in bytes. And by the way, you want it all contiguous because we intend to put an array of characters over there. So this is basically asking the operating system, dear operating system, please give me so many bytes of contiguous memory and I want it on the heap. So as a C programmer, you can explicitly request the operating system for this memory. Now, of course, what if that request is denied? And what about this allocated memory? Who is going to free it up? As a Python programmer, we never really worried about these questions. But as C programmers, we have to worry about these questions. It is our responsibility as C programmers to handle the case when the request is denied and to free up this memory once it is no longer needed. So let's head over to Python Tutor. First, we will execute the code as it is, which has many problems, including this warning. And then we will fix all those problems and write the code correctly. 